I, the last time we were here, we had 286 animals in our um, shelter. Yeah. 230 of them were cats and kittens. Wow. Yes. Now, we have been able to get that number down, okay. which is good. So, we don't have quite as many. But, I mean, we still have, in foster care, cats that are, kittens that are waiting to come back in, yeah. I think over 100. So, it is... We have so many kittens that are available and are going to be available, so we're hoping families will come in to adopt. So now, Ted, right here, you can see her on Facebook Live. He's going to log in right now on our Facebook page. She's obviously not a kitten. She's maybe a, maybe a year old? Maybe yes, I was actually looking that up right now because I forgot how old she was. So I was going to see how old. What, what's the definition of kitten? Six to eight months? Um, yeah, usually we try to, I mean, really under a year is a kitten, okay. but for our classifications at the shelter, we say anything under six months of age that classifies the difference as far as price goes. Well, that's nasty because kittens are fifty dollars. Kittens are fifty dollars, and then cats will be what thirty? Thirty. Yeah, yeah thirty. 30 and that's uh, that's Show that comes with a bag of shoes to take home, and of course, that you're saving a life and you're opening up another uh, home for another animal to be rescued and be part of it. So. You have got our steel right there. I, you've you been here for a while. I, I love it. That's right. Yeah, you are right. She is just right out of bed. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you look at her and obviously she's she's really good natured. Uh, she had Ryan and, and Leslie Pawn at her. Like the pun in there? Oh, yeah, that was very good. And she's really good. She seems to be pretty good. And what? What, Ryan? It's, it's morning radio, buddy. <laughs> That's right. Um, so it, she seemed to be pretty good with people and strangers. So maybe I think she's going to adjust okay. well to most every household. And I think she's going to do great with um, other animals. I think yeah. she's going to do fine if you've got kids in the house. So whatever your situation is, whether, you know, you have, maybe you're somebody who's looking for some companionship and you've got yes. a small home, you know, or yeah. an apartment. Cat would be a wonderful companion for you. Um, they are wonderful. We've got so many up for adoption right now. But I just think her pattern is so pretty. She's what? got. She's feet. allergic to Ryan, apparently. She's so allergic to Ryan. I think it's your feet. <laughs> she, she's allergic to my feet. This is because I'm not wearing sandals. There she is. But she, actually, when I look at her, she reminds me of like a, a bobcat. A little bit. A little bit of like a baby yeah. bobcat right there. Right? Yeah, she has that really unique mm -hmm. coat, really unique look about her. And so she's up for adoption probably right, right away. I'm yeah, she's, she's already there. on the adoption floor and she's waiting for somebody to come in. And she's um, I don't think life. she's been spayed yet. Yeah. So when you come in, if you adopt an animal and they have not been fixed yet, we finish all your adoption papers, oh, yeah, then they get on to our surgery schedule. Within yeah. a day or so, they're fixed, and then they can go home from there. Okay. And again, you also have dogs, pigs, every available. And we do two. One more of our pigs got adopted last night. So really? We two. Awesome. So we still have two pigs. Which one? Who's left? Oh, we have Stella and Bella. Stella. Yeah, Stella. And, and, no, Bella's a small one? No, Rogue was the one Rogue was the small one, yes. Yeah, Rogue got adopted first, and Piggly Wiggly got adopted last nice. night. And Bella and Stella are still yeah, available. Because we actually watched Bella and Stella when we were there a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. cool. And so we, we need the right families to come in for them. Yeah. Adoption fees on those guys are just the same as the dogs. They're $120. Mm -hmm. uh, but that means they've already been fixed. Yeah. Um, you know, we do want to make sure that you know all the ins and outs of what about it takes. Yeah. Because it, they do require a, a larger diet mm -hmm. than just putting some pellets down or uh, putting like a dog food down. Yeah, we um, had broccoli, carrots, oh yeah, all that. kinds of fruits and vegetables and things that they'll eat. So we uh, we make sure that they're getting all that proper diet. But we need a family to come in. So we can't sustain them forever. We need them to move out of there. Um, and I did want to remind everybody. I know you guys have been talking about it. Mm -hmm. It is so hot. Peter, by the way, ask you that. There's things you got to look up for when you. Have oh my food. gosh, it is so hot outside. Please take your animals indoors. Okay. Please take them indoors. You know, if if you don't normally keep them in. I really encourage you to start training them to be an indoor pet. It will be so much better for you and for that animal. Um, but right now, if you can even bring them in and kennel them in a basement, someplace that's cool, an air-conditioned garage, someplace that's out of direct heat, you want to make sure that they've got constant water available to yeah. them. Um, and for these animals that are outside, you know, making sure that they've got someplace they can get out of the shade, yeah. uh, I mean, out of the sun, it would some sort of shade. Uh, but some places, you know, there can be some air and that they can't knock over the water. If you have to dig a hole and bury the bucket, if you have to bungee cord it to the mm -hmm. fence, some way so that that water bucket doesn't get knocked over and they're left without any water. And for goodness sakes, don't leave them in a car. Yeah. We see that all the time. It's tragic. Oh, um, silly. Even if you think it's just going to be for a few minutes. Do not leave them with just windows cracked in the car because the, it's deadly. I was going to say, don't even leave your car on the AC. Just don't even think about your bed in the car. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a, yeah. it's a bad deal um, it's with this type of heat, so just don't do it. Okay. And again, uh, I'm thinking all the information so like that preventative measures up at the website. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you see an animal that is in distress, please call and report it. Evansville Animal Care and Control can get officers out there. 
Um, you know, certainly the DHS can assist if we need to assist. Yeah. Um, you know, an animal needs medical attention, or if you think the animal's not being treated properly, make sure you get involved and call. Yeah, I mean, you get all the information at the VHS Lifesaver dot org. org. Mm -hmm. That's right. dot org. So you can check that out. And again, you guys, hours are 12 to 6. That's right, Tuesday through Saturday, noon to 6. Uh, the only day that we're going to be closed upcoming is July 2nd. Okay. July 2nd on that Saturday, all services will be closed the adoption center, intake center, the resale shop, and our vaccine clinic. All services can have their holiday. Right. And you're still hiring too, correct? We are. We actually have four positions available now. Yeah. Four, I know. Yeah. We have four. I've got an animal care tech, uh, which is people who are daily working with the animals, cleaning the kennels. Uh, we've got part time and full time in there. I have a veterinary assistant that's okay. working back in our spay neuter clinic. Some of our team is actually prepping the animals for surgery. Mm -hmm. That position is available. And then I also have a uh, clinic receptionist and data entry part time position. Yeah. And so go to our website, we've got all the information. It doesn't matter if you go on the website or inside. It, it does not. She will I, I, will, I will give you an interview. Okay. Even if you she will are on the east side, <laughs> you know, I, I do not discriminate in that regard. Very nice. that, that is. And thank you, Kevin, for coming in. Again, you can check out a tabby on our Facebook Live. You can shoot some video there. And any questions that you can find on the website as well. That's right. All right. Thanks, Kendall. She's found a place and she likes it there and she's not leaving. She's under the table over here. It's funny, that little hole right there. Every animal's right there. That's, what, yeah. Yeah, that's why I went around and opened the door. They always do it. Yeah, they, they cannot help but go in there. Good morning, Debbie Katie. Is she still there? She is, yes. Can I take care of Sure. Yes. Kendall. Kendall? Yeah. Yeah, I listen to you all the time on that. It means a neighbor over here where I live. And the address is 1804 Shelby. And they have a pit bull and it's wired up in the, in the back of their yard, back by the woods, with no food or no water. A friend of mine took some water over there in a bucket, and the dog didn't even know where the water was. Wow, what was the address again? 1804? Shelby, yes. Shelby, okay. Yeah, it's off of Rock the Wood, between Rock the Wood and Wine Rock. Okay. But that dog is pitiful back here. I will make sure that I talk to Animal Control today, and we'll see if we can't get somebody out there. We will get somebody out there to check on the dog. Um, and okay. then what they'll do is there's a process that they have to go through. They have to show up. If they see that the animal doesn't have what it needs, then they have to be able to, they can give it some things and then they can leave notice and they have to be able to talk to the owners. And, and then eventually if the people don't comply with what they're supposed to do, then they can remove the dog. Um, okay, but there's no shelter or anything back there for that dog. Absolutely. She's really nice. She's there just... to check them out and um, they can be issued citations, you know, for that if the animal is not being cared for. There we go. I didn't have enough hands. There we go. See? It's not scary. I just didn't have enough hands to get you. Look at those eyes. Jeez. She looks like a little bobcat. She is solid, too. She is solid. How much does she weigh? I don't know, but she's she's the girl. But she's got such pretty, pretty coat. Beautiful markings. Yeah. It's okay, Tabby. You don't have to be scared. I'm you don't have to be guy. scared. Yes. Yeah. Can you say hello? Hi. Hmm? She's just snipping, looking around. All right. You ready to go back? You should pass back here. You're welcome. Go back. Okay, Kendall, give some, while he's putting her back in there, give some last comments about her and how to adopt her and stuff like that. Her name is Tabby. She is just about a year old. Uh, she's been with us since probably the beginning of June, so we've had her for not quite a month yet. Um, she is, uh, one, she came in by herself. She is $30 to adopt. So if you come in, she's not spayed yet, but that will be done before she goes home with you. So if you come in today or the next couple of days and adopt her, she'll go on the surgery sheet and then um, she'll get spayed within a couple of days and then she can go home. $30 adoption fee includes microchip, spay, all age-appropriate vaccines. And there's lots of other cats and dogs oh, and pigs. many. Check out our website because we try to have at least everybody posted up there. Uh, there's not pictures for everybody, but we're working really hard. Our volunteers come in every day and take pictures as the animals are coming in to get photos, but there's at least information up. And then you can come in uh, Tuesday through Saturday.
from noon until 6 to take a look and do adoptions and viewing. Okay, thanks, Kendall. Thanks, guys.